Today's video is going to be uh, kind of going over our mowing setup. Uh, so we got two guys, one full-time and one part-time, and all they do is mow lawns all week. Uh, they do some, you know, small landscape stuff, but the main majority of what they do is just mow lawns. First, we'll start off with the truck. Um, it is a 7.3 Godzilla uh, one ton. It's just single wheel. It's got an eight foot box uh, with a toolbox in it. So obviously all the toolbox, all the tools they'll need. String trimmer line, all kinds of stuff like that. Right there, easy for them to get to. Uh, single cab, just because it's the cheapest truck. Um, there's not that much room in the back here. A little bit. Uh, we have these nice candle seats because uh, the lawn guys do get pretty dirty every day. So it's the, I think, STX truck. So it's, you know, not a luxury truck by any means, just cloth seats. Um, it does have a nice backup camera and everything. I do have a review video on this truck. Um, it's a really nice truck, pretty fast for a stock truck. Here we have a Suretrack trailer. Uh, it's like 22 feet long. Uh, we have a side gate. Our walk behinds, we have three of them. Uh, two of them are 48s, which this one is right here. And I have another one that is a 52 inch. So these are really good. Um, you can get into a lot of small areas and uh, steep inclines, uh, good on hills, stuff like that. Um, all we run essentially is Xmark. We have one gravely once. Uh, we actually still have it. It's at my grandpa. Well, it's my grandpa's now. But all we run is X marks. Um, all the same size, really. Our riders are all 60 inch. Here we have a S series Laser Z. I believe this is a 2011. This is my favorite mower of all time. Still use it all the time. It's got a nice bagger on it. I think we paid like 12 or 14 thousand for it, something like that. Has a good amount of hours. This is the most hours, 2500. So this is our kind of like our most used mower of all time really uh, i believe the engine did go that was like at 2200 hours which is kind of expected the life uh, expectancy is like somewhere around 2000 um so here's another one this one i believe is an e-series which i don't like it's a little bit more narrow it comes with much shittier wheels so you're much better off to go with an s-series a little bit heavier a little bit uh, better ride better heavy duty obviously if you have the real money you get an x-series um 60 inch uh we used to have those uh shoot blockers um but the guys didn't like them i used to like them when i used to mow but they didn't so usually have one bagger on one without um obviously when it's really dry out we'll just have no baggers on this trailer but uh, we get a nice weed whacker holder here i hate these uh they seems like some guys won't Attach right every once in a while, one will fall off, which is horrible. We'd rather just leave them in the truck. Uh, we strap our mowers down by these, these fast straps here. It's obviously neat. Uh, as far as these walk behinds, I'm not 100% sure on the hours because there's no hour meter, but there's definitely a lot. So the reason why um, this is a gas truck, all my other trucks are, are diesels. Uh, the reason why we went with gas is because uh, when you're actually filling up with the gas pump, it would be really annoying to go to the diesel pump, then switch over to the gas pump and get your mowers. So we keep our mowing truck a gas truck just because it's a little bit simpler when you go to fill up at places. Uh, this truck gets horrible fuel economy. It doesn't really get used much. Uh, it's got like 35,000 miles compared to my dump trucks. You know, it's nothing. But uh, yeah, this truck gets horrible fuel economy. It's like eight miles a gallon, but it is the big 7.3 engine. So it can, you know, pull this trailer very, very easily. So this trailer is not a heavy duty trailer at all. It's like a 10,000 pound sure track. Not sure on the year, but uh the you don't have to have a cdl to obviously drive it just a one ton truck with a ten thousand pound trailer so you're way under for cdl um bad thing is you can't ever haul skip steer or anything like that with it did you look at that estimated this morning or is it yeah the ride up with you yeah so we got a four sixty inch x marks right now uh, three walk lines, like I said. This is the 52 inch here. So we get seven mowers, uh, two guys, good plan backups. We don't really sell them when we're done with them. We just keep them as backups. And, you know, there's no real need of selling them or trading them in. We just keep them. Uh, overall, Xmark does a really good job uh, with their grease fittings. Everything is very easy to get to, very easy. Um, it's fine, uh, simple. Uh, air filter, obviously. Everything's easy to change, everything's easy to maintain. Uh, so we've had really good luck with Xmark, um, just really because you know, there's a dealership close to us. 
and we don't really have issues. I mean, we get about, like I said, you know, 2,000, 2,500 hours out of them. And then essentially they either need some work or they need to be uh, put on to the backup fleet. But my opinion, you know, our setup's pretty good. Uh, we don't really want, we used to have a lot of mowing. We used to have a ton of mowing actually. Uh, but no, we just have essentially one crew, one full-time, one part-time. And I find that pretty profitable. I think any bigger, any smaller, it just wouldn't be worth it. As far as maintenance, uh, we try to do our oil changes every 70 hours. Uh, we do a hydraulic change every other year. Um, as far as greasing, we do once a week. Mower blades are sharpened once a week and the decks are cleaned twice a week. So I personally don't really have um, anything to do with the mowing. Um, I don't want the stress of it. I don't want the planning of it. So I basically have a guy who makes his own schedule, does his own thing, and he has a part-time helper. And it's essentially stress-free for me, for the most part. Um, so yeah, he does a really good job. He's been doing it for like five years. I haven't really touched a mower. As a matter of fact, I haven't even mowed my own lawn. I've owned the house for like five years and I haven't even touched it. So it's really nice just to uh, have this part of the business uh, kind of out of my brain, out of my head, uh, not have to worry about it. So it's definitely good having a good guy for that. Uh, as far as mowing, I mean, there is money in it, yes, but the problem with mowing is that you have a bunch of companies starting up like every year that are always driving the prices down, undercutting people, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, so I focus on the hardscape because not a lot of people can do that, and so it's a lot more expensive to get into, so you don't have to worry about people starting up businesses for hardscape and masonry every year. Um, so yeah, it's just good to be diversified. I'll probably never get rid of the mowing. I'll probably have at least a small crew going at all times because obviously the mowing brings in a lot of work for plowing too and it's season round. So you get spring cleanups, you get sweeping. Um, then you also have the winter months where you plow for them too. So it doesn't really make sense to get rid of mowing or get out of it. Um, it is kind of blood money at times, but it brings in a lot of year round work. Um, again, any questions, leave them down in the comments below and thanks for watching.